Hi, this is Christopher Reeve and I am speaking to you from the Dimensions and of course as many of the world know I was the old Superman and was confined to a wheelchair for many years and I passed over, God I wouldn't say recently but quite a while back and I most definitely did not expect myself to experience myself in the dimensions after I died and I indeed did. I realized that I'm still here and it's fascinating because as I crossed over to the dimensions um, after I died many would refer to it as the afterlife. Um, I got a bit worried <laughs> because I wondered if I'd ever have the ability to communicate with my family again and I've been trying to actually interestingly enough to reach my wife and I haven't been able to successfully and I have now the ability to and tell her that and my family that I am supporting you in this process that is about to take place on earth there are many changes that are coming and there are many changes in the dimensions where I am at now. It's strange saying dimensions because it's not really that I'm in the dimensions. It's more that I'm in an expressive spirit form here on earth. Um, the dimensions is an alternate existence. It's not the same as anyone would think it to be. Now, we're here the same as human beings are here and it is an experience that is unconceivable on earth, it's unimaginable and it's an experience that no one would expect when you die actually. I thought you know when I died it would be the complete end and um, it wasn't. Uh, although <laughs> if I integrate into another human being in terms of supporting them in their process I'm able to walk. <laughs> um, and in the dimensions it's more of a, if you want to call it the dimensions, it's more of a, a floating experience of yourself. I no longer had any discomfort, any pain. And um, I'm grateful that I'm here, that I'm still here, to give the world the message that you still exist when you die. And to beings that are still here on earth, saying to you that all that you are now is not the entirety of who you really are. And that is something more. And it's going to be a tough process because we're basically preparing the way for the children to come. And, you know, according to my experience on earth, it was quite unfortunate. I mean, you know, I wanted to do so much good and I wanted to maybe change human beings' lives in a way that I only possibly could understand at the time. Um, but you know, I realized I was doing it in the incorrect approach. That the way in terms of placing foundations and raising funds to support certain human beings with certain experiences of themselves to maybe adjust their lifestyle and to adjust the way they currently experience themselves because of disabilities is not the way to go actually. <laughs> um, that in terms of my unfortunate experience that I asked myself the question many times, you know, why am I still here? Why am I confined to this wheelchair? I mean, what am I able to do here? Um, I'm a broke, I'm a live being in a broken body. Is this the way it's supposed to be? And it existed within me that question for many years. Oh, uh, Christopher Reeve, the Superman, <laughs> or may wonder which Christopher Reeve specifically this is confined to a wheelchair for many years and what is the purpose of that? I mean even when I died and I got to realize that I'm still here even though I've died on this physical earth plane I asked myself you know what was the purpose of that? Why why does that happen? Why do people get such injuries in this world? And I mean I'm not asking it from the perspective of why only um, does this happen this way. I'm asking it from the perspective of is that necessary? Um, 
was it a lesson I had to learn? I mean, I got that purpose from from my experience in terms of raising foundations, raising funds to support human beings with the same disability experience as I had. But then I realized, where is that money actually going? Who's making money out of this whole situation? And I realized that who's making money is hospitals, is doctors, is scientists. They're making money to support human beings who have such disability experiences. Why? Why is the necessity of that to exist? Why do we have doctors in this world? Why have we just accepted broken bones or experiences of broken bodies to be normal? That the only way scientists, doctors, um, hospitals, um, organizations, establishments are able to exist is because human beings have unfortunate events occur to them which you've, which some call fate, which some call destiny. Um, that is not true. I found that my experience specifically was programmed in as many human beings' lives are programmed in. And I finally found the answer to the question why I still had to exist here on this earth even though my body was broken and I was a fine being inside a broken body and my purpose apparently being able to establish foundations, trust funds, supporting scientists and doctors to specialize in certain specific disabilities and supporting others who are unfortunate as I was. And that was not the case. The truth I found was the following, which is quite disturbing and which many human beings on this earth are required to realize is that every single human being's life has been pre-programmed. I mean, I could play out my life, it was already pre-planned. I just kind of stepped into a pre-planned pre -planned, programmed life and I just walked it. And that specifically the breakages, the disabilities, illnesses, diseases, etc are specific programmed, pre-programmed life experiences to have the existence of doctors, to have the existence of hospitals, have the exis existence of scientists specializing in certain disabilities. And um, uh, that's a cell phone ringing there at the moment <laughs> during the interview. And that they are required to exist for any being to make any money out of this whole situation. And because have a look, if, if illnesses didn't exist, if such experiences of breakages didn't exist, if disabilities didn't, didn't exist, if etc, 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 if all those didn't exist, would the necessity of hospitals and doctors and specialized scientists and pharmaceuticals and medications and it does have required to exist. No, it does not. And I realized that my specific event that occurred was to specifically support the existence of doctors, of hospitals, of organizations of funds, to support the acceptance of having events occurred for people to become disabled. Who, who actually profits out of that scenario? Who actually profits out of human beings becoming disabled. Look at my experience. Who profited? Organizations, doctors, pharmaceutical companies, scientists specializing in trying to find ways to make the life of beings who are disabled more comfortable. For what reason? I mean, how, what justified my existence in a wheelchair? not being able to do anything but maybe move my eyes and speak strangely. What is the purpose of that? How could we have accepted that? I couldn't understand how I could have accepted that. And that's the realization I'm bringing through here is that everything that's ever happened to any human being, and that was including myself, was pre-programmed. Pre to support the pre-programmed existence of the necessity of having human beings becoming disabled in certain ways to support the existence of doctors, scientists, pharmaceutical companies, hospitals, etc. 
and I'm not accepting that any longer. As many dimensional beings, I'm not accepting that any longer. So this is Christopher Reeve, and this is this realization I'm bringing through to you, that my existence in that wheelchair and the existence of many beings in wheelchairs and the occurrences that they have had is unacceptable, that it has been pre-programmed, that it has been already laid out to them before they were birthed to have to experience that it's not who they are and it's not necessary to occur or even happen and it is only supporting money in this world it is only supporting the existence and necessity of doctors specialized scientists and pharmaceutical companies imagine if diseases and illnesses didn't exist if the world was about the expression of who we really are that wouldn't require to be existed or to be existent in this world. So maybe have another look at the reason for the existence of illnesses because at the moment, or even diseases and disabilities, what is it supporting? Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself, is that necessary to be existent in this world as an experience of yourself? So what is really going on here? Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.